Hello, welcome back to this video. We are, we are now by Scribble Sheldon in Amsterdam Theater. I don't know what the name is. And I'm gonna explain what Scribble Show. Scribble Showdown is um, where you, animators, like the others, have to animations, um, fight no competition um, of draw, drawings, and who, and who can do the best. And the best wins a belt. So. Enjoy the video. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do some highlights. Enjoy. And thank you so much for that very warm welcome. Welcome to Scribble Showdown, everybody! Come on! I said, you want to see the artists, right? Well, first up, he's the Thunder from Down Under. Please welcome to the stage, Rubber Ross! Ross, how are you doing tonight? I'm all right. How are you? I love the chill attitude. I wish I was the same. Hey man, welcome to the school show down. <laughs> you think you're gonna win tonight? It's Jenny and Michelle! Jenny, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. Not least. You may know him as quite odd. Please welcome to the stage, the odd ones I love to hear it. You think you're gonna win tonight's show? Golly, I sure hope so. <laughs> I love that attitude. Good for James, everybody. Come on. Now let's get these games started. What do you say, huh? Let's start some drawings. All right, you, uh... Some of you have pulled what they call in the industry a dick move. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> All right. Let's go back to our original tablets and get the show on the road. Off remember a very simple game. And the first game that's going to have a little audience participation, we're going to go to the audience and ask one of you, Mr. Matthew. I don't even remember what he looks like. It's going to be an interesting one. Ross going straight for the French fry angle. Going to get points on the, on the action instead of the likeness. It's a good strategy, I think. Two and a half minutes. Jaden, I think you're drawing Kyle. <laughs> or Stan? I don't know. <laughs> or Kenny. I don't know. It's only been a time that I've never seen a single episode of Smarter you're gonna be, that's just obvious. But who wants to study? So, uh, you know, just like read comics instead. <laughs> Sounds like I'm promoting cheating, but I didn't look over at Jaden's screen. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to get a marker and write it on your hand, and then look around, and then you look at your hand, but then really it says, use Jaden's idea. <laughs> we'll, we'll check back in on that. Uh, James, let's check out your side the headshot. Uh, Alright. <laughs> oh no, come on! Okay. And uh, Thomas, check out your Ross. Little <laughs> <laughs> goblin boy. Uh, Jaden, I uh, really don't know. Well, what's happening there? But I'm assuming you're gonna be drawing a, a, a death bike. No, no, I, I think I'm done. <laughs> oh yeah. Clean. It's a pan. One hand. That's a that's a one. It, it's like one pan. Oh, it's one pan. Yeah. It's one pan. Yeah. Really wanted to make sure. That... <laughs> that's a broccoli, all right. <laughs> now, as we move into the final phases, let's give them all we've got. All right. Very simple. We're gonna do split the Amsterdam because you're about to watch your cartoon. One morning, we meet our hero, ready to start their day. Nothing bad could possibly happen. <gasps> ah! My pet's been stolen! I need to find who did this and get my pet back! But our hero did not know what to do, so they called upon their trusty sidekick. Yo, I heard your pet was stolen. I think it was the villain. You know the one. I do! Let's get that villain, the darn villain! Agreed! So the hero had to hop into their very reliable and cool vehicle! Wow, that's reliable! And cool! And off they 
went. But they were going too fast. Oh no, the police! We gotta outrun these men. The arrested hero can't save their pet. Psychic find themselves in the forest of things. Beautiful. What a sight. <laughs> I knew you would come. <laughs> Villain! That's right. <laughs> have if you want your pet back, you'll need to defeat me in combat. <laughs> Don't worry, friend. I'll defeat this monster. Very uncool of you to call me a monster. I find it very offensive. I will beat you with my trusty evil weapon. <laughs> no! My friend, who is very pretty and handsome. Here, this will keep you alive for now. It smells good. What say you now, you fool? Your friend is dead, and now you will be too! How about you? Looks like I'm too strong for you after all. I took your pet because it's precious and cute, and I need that in my life. That is, I need it in my life to destroy it! <laughs> what will our hero do? Defeated, broken, but our hero remembers who gave them that pet. Mother. Mother. <laughs> oh, yes, I am your mother. I gave you that pet. Uh, believe in yourself. That's what I always say when I give you pets. Believe in you, because I do. So just remember that. <laughs> So, are you gonna get back up or? The ha! I'm awake and with the strength from my mother. Yeah! Oh, not the sword! I knew you had it in you. What an amazing turn of events! Can our hero now beat the villain with the sword of mom? Yeah. Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> The sword also heals people. I am healed. I did it, I did it. You saw, you saw. Where's my pet? Pet's out. Oh, pet, oh my pet, how cute you are. I love you, pet. It's totally okay that you're licking my face. The hero and their trusty sidekick saved the day. Wow, what an adventure.